Now I'm going to talk about how I created um, Isolation, which is a single which is out now on Awesome Soundwave. Now, um, as uh, you know, like all my stuff, this uh, track was uh, created to be performed live. So all the arrangement in this track is done live. Um, firstly, I want to talk about the kick drum. Now, I um, originally used the um, Volker kick um, to make the kick drum. And when I, when, when I made the track originally, I was actually running the Volker kick live. Um, so I had it synced up to the MC707. Um, since then, um, I've actually sampled the kick drum into the 707 due to a few syncing issues. So the kick drum, um, which was created uh, in the Volker kick, sounds like this. As you can hear, it's a very, very uh, powerful um, techno kick drum. Now, most of the track, in fact, everything from the track is coming from the Roland MC707. It's a lovely groove box. Um, I love this bit of kit. Um, and uh, the, only thing that, the only thing that isn't really coming from the track is the isolation sample. And that's just looping coming from Ableton. That just sounds like Isolation. That. Isolation. So what I've done is I've just programmed some, uh, you know, some uh, techno drums, obviously um, sampled the, um, the vocal kick in. And I've created the other um, drums from patches which are already in the MC707. So, you know, it's got some, got some great, uh, you know, 808, 909 kits, but I've obviously, um, you know, processed them, process them quite heavily. So they're kind of quite hard and tough and, you know, done a little bit of sound design. So they, they really kind of punch. Now, um, the MC707 has got um, clips, so um, you can run separate, um, separate, um, you know, uh, patterns on different clips. So that's kind of great for, for when you're jamming stuff out live. So this, for example, I've got that kick drum here. Different pattern of that kick drum there. And same with the hats. So all very simple. Um, and then I've just got some, uh, you know, simple chords that I've programmed in that can be filtered like this. With some extra reverb there. And then really simple um, pad chord, which is like that. And at the moment, that's just one note. But on a separate clip here, um, I have a little bit of a chord progression going on. And then that is all just jammed out live. Um, you know, uh, using the, you know, the pops, the, the, the knobs, the faders and stuff on that um, and just arranged completely live um, with the isolation sample running the whole way through. Um, all the additional effects come from the, um, the core chaos pad and that's basically how it's done. <laughs> 